a house in a house bedrooms are the coziest rooms of all and this is my favorite room in my parents house the white and extra fl fluffy blanket is on a pearl cream, cream bed there was a flower but like lamp on top of the bed there there is a wooden cabinet on the top and on the top is a beautiful flower flower plant mm. next to the flower pot there sits a sweet smelling frag fragrant stick mm. of the fragrant stick is a small air freshener mm. which always smells like fresh pine scent in the woods. Yeah. Cabinet is between two windows. There is a hanging chair which made of wood. It is hanging from the ceiling. The chauffeur was knitted by wood which is knitted by what is hanging on the ceiling. There. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There is a big, mi big mirror behind my bed. Okay, there's the big mirror, Ellis. Ellis, it's a beautiful room. Hey, Ellis, this word coziest. Does everyone understand what this word coziest means? Coziest. Hey, Ellis, how do you say coziest in Vietnamese? Can you translate it? Because if you could put it in the chat so people know what coziest means, she'll write it because that's a difficult word. Coziest means it's just really comfortable, you guys. A really comfortable place. All right. By the way, Ellis, do you have a cat in your family? No. Because if you had a cat, I bet the cat would sleep here every day. You'd always find the cat sleeping here, right? Because the cat would love this kind of chair, I think. All right. So you guys, why did I choose this? Because look at Ellis did this wonderful job of on top of the bed, on top of it, next to the flower pot. Uh, in front of the fragrance stick, um, between two windows. This is excellent work, Alice. Really nice. I'm really happy you did this. And hanging onto the ceiling. Yeah, that's good. Alice, this one I didn't correct it. I would go like this. The chair that hangs, you could say, hanging from the ceiling. That's probably better. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions? Now, Ellis, this is a girl's room or a lady's room. So let me ask a uh, teacher, Summer. Summer, do you like this room? Yes, beautiful room, yeah. Beautiful Very cozy, room. you know, uh, how to say, um, nice. Yeah, cozy uh, and nice. Finished. Yeah, mm. fully finished. Ellis, is that really your room? Is that in your house? It was my sister's bedroom. Oh, wow. it's beautiful. Ellis, did she stay there a lot for like two hours a day, three hours a day, four hours a day? Yes. Um, yeah, it's two, <laughs> so great. Three hours a day. Yeah, because if you have a great room like that, Ellis, you just want to stay there all day. I would, <laughs> especially. <You're right>. if... <laughs> I just. <laughs> I would be the same. <laughs> I know. It's just that's why I asked her. If she has a cat, and um, what else here is about this? It's in Ho Chi Minh City, so when the weather is hot in summer, you would use air conditioning in this room, I think. Okay, next, Tintin, are you there? I'd like to do Tintin. Ellis did a bedroom in her house, but now I'm going to choose Tintin because Tintin did this really wonderful job of uh, describing the city of Bremen in Germany. I really, I really enjoyed this. Um, did we have a picture here? I thought I had a picture, but I'm sorry I didn't. Um, have that. So one moment, please. We're going to share. And there's Tintin. Tintin, are you here? Yes. Hey, Tintin, nice work on this. Really good work. I'm really happy with it. Would you like to read for everyone? Yes. The Bremer Marketplace is a huge market base in the middle of the city Bremen. The market is between two tram stations. There are many passages leading from the market to a river or a real golden sculpture. 
It is a great spot for shopping lovers too. The marketplace is home to some famous snacks in Germany. There's also a cathedral located in the very middle. Mm. It has a typical architecture of cathedrals all over Europe with two twin towers. The cathedral was originally larger, but it was burned down by fire and had to be partially rebuilt. The, in the center of the marketplace is a Roland statue. It symbolizes freedom and liberty. Legend says that Bremen will remain free and independent as long as the Roland stands. In 2004, the Roland along the town hall were added to the list of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Next to the town hall is a statue that inspired the fairy tale Town Musicians of Bremen by the Brothers Grimm. They wrote many other famous fairy tales like Little Red Riding Hood and Hansel and Gretel. Overall, the marketplace is terrific and has a huge variety of things to do and to visit for, especially for tourists. Nice work. I changed terrific there. That's terrific. Um, so you guys, you saw I was, while he was reading, Tintin was reading, I did this. I did, um, oh, some more here. Uh, very middle. This is very nice work. Um, all over Europe is technically a location word. It's a spatial order word. So do you see he described this Bremer? So now you guys, sometimes you need a picture. So I'm going to get you a picture of what this Bremer place looks like. Okay. So one moment, please. And one moment, please. <clears throat> uh, here we go. And I'm going to do Bremer um, Roland, Bremer Market or the Roland Statue. Let's do the Roland Statue. Roland Statue in Bremen. And we'll find out what this statue is. Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Okay. So you guys, this is what the Roland statue looks like. And this is the statue that Tintin described. Okay, do you see it? The Bremen Roland statue in the market square. And it's the Bremer market. So there's the Roland. Was he a famous fighter, Tintin? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Bremer, Bremer Marketplace, which they call Market Plots. Oh, it's nice. Do you guys see it? So let me ask some students. Susu, would you like to go to this place? I I would love to watch. <laughs> it looks I like would... Disney, like a yeah. Disney theme park. But it would be two, two lots of people. Too many people, I know. I I guess all the good tables are taken by people already. Amy yeah. from Hanoi, nice to see you, Amy. Amy, would you like to go to the Bremer place that uh, Tintin described? Yes. Yeah, it looks good. Do you think it would be difficult, Amy, to get a table to like eat sausage and stuff at the table? I think yes, because it's yeah. very crowded. Mm. I wonder if the food is expensive. Let's ask Tintin. Tintin, if you went to that marketplace to have like sausage and a Coca-Cola with your friends, would it be a little bit expensive? Uh, so it isn't that expensive, but it's mm. like normal, uh, normal restaurant prices. Oh, okay. And so would you go there with friends or with your mom and dad? Uh, I already went went there some time ago, and I, I would. Yeah. I went to a place like that in Switzerland, and the outdoor prices were a little bit expensive. Okay, nice, you guys. Okay, any questions on those two presentations? Remember, one was on a city that was uh, Tintin, and one was that nice bedroom that was Alice. So what are we going to do today, you guys? Funny you should ask. We're going to do the order of appearance. Let me just make sure I have the right slide. Yes, okay. So <clears throat> let's um, make this big. And now I'm going to share with you what we're going to do today with a Google slide presentation. Okay, so today we're going to do order of importance. So you guys already did time importance, spatial order, where things are in the city. And then now it's going to be the order of importance. Okay, so we'll do slideshow style. And I need some people to help me read. 
Uh, let's see, who can we have? Ruyoko, are you there? Yes. Hey, Ruyoko, can you read the title here and then the description? Okay. Wait. <clears throat> the last three weeks, we studied time and space order. Here's a time order example. Soccer practice has been over for a half an hour, and my mom still had not picked me up. I was a little angry and grumbled to myself. Then, as soon as she drove up in our family's car, I figured out why she was late. Our car was damaged from some kind of accident. After complaining to myself about mom being late, I now felt bad that I was upset with her. She looked kind of shocked. Poor mom. Very nice, Yoko. So we did this about three weeks ago, the time words. And our time words in this story were half an hour, then, as soon as, late, after, late, and now. So do you see in just one paragraph, we have all those time words. So if we did time words three weeks ago, then we did location words. And this is similar to Alice's thing. Ariel, are you there? Yes. Ariel, would you like to read spatial organization? This is what we did two weeks ago. And spatial organization. In my bedroom, there is a desk for studying next to the window. Actually, the window is between the desk and the cabinet, where I kept some of my clothes. To the left of my desk, against the wall, is a bookshelf where I keep my school books and my own special books. I like to read it. And the space words here are next, between, to the left, and against. Now, this room, I didn't use these um, words. That the only thing here, the books shelves are against the wall. And that's what I said there. Um, <clears throat> it's bookshelves and the desk are against the wall. Against the wall is some a new kind of word that we did. Um, let me ask some questions. And Minnam, in this, de in this room, where is the bed? Can you describe it? Uh, the bed is next to the bookshelf. Yeah, next to the bookshelf here, the bookshelves here. And it's next to the window. Yes. Could we say the, the bed is between the window and between the bookshelves? Between is good. Yes. Hey, Justin, where is the carpet? The carpet is under the bed. Yeah, under the bed here, and then in the middle of the room. Mr. Simon has a question. Hey, Simon, what's your question? Oh, it's in chat? Okay, we'll put it in chat then. Okay, and let's just do one more. Um, Sophia, how are you, Sophia? I'm good. Um, Sophia, if you have like a long dress or a coat, where would you keep it? What do you call this? Um... It's kind of a new word. Cabinet. Yeah, cabinet. You got it. It's a cabinet. Very good. Okay. By the way, Sophia, do you like this room? Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot I of... Think I don't like it yeah. because I don't like pink. Ah, pink here, yeah. And pink on the walls. It kind of has old-fashioned white ivory color. They're kind of old-fashioned. These look like candles, but electric candles, so they're safe. So we could say these four pictures are between the electric candles. Okay, let's see. Hey, Simon, are you there? You asked me a question. Would you like to read? Yes, yes, okay, I want to read. You have to read all of this then, okay. Tonight we will study the third element, order or importance. Why is the order important useful for your writing? It can be used to preserve people in what writing, giving presentation and debate. Presentate on Facebook. Think yeah, of an online news story. The writers of the story know many people will not read the electric story. Just a few people of the top lines. Therefore, the, they state the most important details 
of information at the beginning of the story in these first lines the b we plus plus how question can be answered let's review the big big w and how style style question first very good nice so in a newspaper story on the internet the first five lines have who what when where how those are the most important this word is persuade. Thank you for reading it in Vietnamese. Some of these words are difficult. Um, some students ask me, what does that mean, persuade? It's to get somebody to do something. And then so I thought it was easier just to use the Vietnamese there. Okay, let's go to um, Susu. Can you read who, what, where, why? Um, who, what, where, why, when, and how? Who is in involved in this story who are the characters who is this writing for what is the thing being discussed what's this story about what topic is it covering where are the places where do the writers want us to go when is the event being described? Is it past, present, or future? Why are you interested in this sort of story? Mm. How? How long is the event? Mm. How many people will attend an event? How much does the event cost. How can I get to the event in the past? Everything would be how long did something happen? How many people were in the story? For example, 23 people were injured by a restaurant fire. How many people were injured? There were 23 people injured. Oh, very nice reading, Susu. So the uh, who, what, where, we can use that in any style writing. I'm just reviewing it. I think I showed it to you when we began the course a month ago. And this can also be used in a small five sentence paragraph about an event on the internet. It can be a past event that already happened. It can be happening now, or it can be happening about two weeks into the future, okay? So <clears throat> let's go to the next one. Here's an example. Let's see, who can we get to read here? Nick, are you there? Yes. Hey, Nick, would you like to read an example of order of importance? Oh, yes, of course. An example of order of importance, the most important details first. Collector card meeting. The Ho Chi Minh City Trading Card Club will meet at 3 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, February 25, 2024. The meeting will take place at the Chai Gon Exhibition and Convention Center. All primary and secondary students are welcome, but primary, primary students must be accompanied by a parent or adult guardian. The most expensive card will be displayed, and we will discuss how to make sure the cards you buy are not fake cards. Yeah, what is fake, Nick, in Vietnamese? Zà mao. Yeah, that's a problem, fake cards. So, All right, so I'm going to ask you guys a question each now, starting with uh, Max. Are you there? Oh, yes, I'm here. Hey, Max. Max, what is going to take place? What event is going to take place on Sunday, February 25th? This is uh, the what question. Uh, it will take place of Ho Chi Minh City. Well, Ho Chi Minh is, City. Here's the, uh, what is the event? A collector's card meeting. Nice. Very good, Nick. You understand. Hey, Ariel, are you there? Is yes. Ariel there? Hey, Ariel, what time will the collector's card meeting take place? Mm, the trotting 
card club will meet at three o'clock to six o'clock p.m. Mm. And what day of the week is it, uh, Amy? It's on Sunday. Yeah, and what's the date on Sunday? Sunday, February? February uh, 25th. Good, 25th. 2024. Okay. Hey, um, let's see. I'm going to ask another student here. So we get a chance. Drafi, are you there? Drafi? All right. How about Jasmine? Jasmine, are you there? Yes. Hey, Jasmine. Um, where will this uh, trading card meeting take place? Uh, the meeting will take place at the Saigon S. Yeah. Good. And let's ask a who question. Who has to come with their mother or father? So who must come with a mother or father? We'll give that to Jasmine also. A uh, student? <laughs> well, if you're a secondary? Uh, primary student. Yeah, primary. Primary must come with a mother or father because they're so young, you know. And maybe they're buying cards or trading cards and they make a terrible mistake. Okay. And there's just one last question I have. Um. Well, how? Let's see if we have a how question here. We have how long is the event? So we go back, how long is it? It's three hours, okay? So what I want to do is you have the information here and I will share it. So I'm gonna stop that share there. Let's do breakout rooms. I want to see, um, Summer, did our other teacher come yet? Um, not yet, uh, but I think I can cover her, so. Okay. <laughs> if I stay in the main room, would you like to do a breakout room? That leaves yeah, us yeah, of course. like um, 19, 17 students, so seven and eight, maybe. Okay. So time for breakout rooms, you guys. So what are you going to do in the breakout rooms? I'll try to share this screen. Summer, do you have a copy of this? The presentation? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. So. If you have the copy of it, um, if you could just ask the students the who, what, where, when, how question, the, the five powerful uh, questions. What slide should I use, uh, Brenda? Um, let me see. I'll put it up here. Okay. And uh, time order. Is this right? Yeah. The uh, collector's card meeting. Is that okay? Um, okay. We just did it, but, you know, if you want yeah. to get this to talk more. So we do it again. That's you mean you mean you did it again? Okay. Thanks, Summer. All right, you guys, here we go into the breakout rooms. And we just need one breakout room because I'm gonna stay in the uh main room and create. And then I'll transfer students over to the main room. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hello, Simon. All right, you guys. So I moved Max and Justin. Hey, Max, good to see you. Thank you for turning your camera on. <laughs> Hello, Min Nam. Hello, Sophia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Drafi. Hello, Justin. Hello, Max. Hello, Min Nam. You guys are happy today. Ariel, Jasmine, Amy. Hey, um, Max, will you go back to school on Monday? Oh, yes, of course, then. Are you excited about that? Are you happy? Uh, I went to school at um, 
last uh, Thursday. Hmm. Oh, you went already, already went back. Oh, okay. And was it good to be back? Oh, yes, of course. All right, very nice. How about Justin? Were you happy to go back to school, Justin? Yes, I did. Yeah, and some of the writing the students told me they're happy to go back. So mm -hmm. I was happy to hear that, you know, you guys like school. Minnam, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, Minnam, on the thing, um, the presentation, I did trading cards for Pokemon. Do you like trading cards? Yes. Yeah. You know how some of them are really expensive. So <clears throat> that's why I said on the thing, you must come with your mother or father. Okay, guys, let me show it to you one more time. And then I'll ask you questions about this. Okay, so let me see if I have it here. Okay. Uh, let me start with Sophia. Good to see you, Sophia. Hey, Sophia. Okay. Um, can you read this one more time, Sophia, just so everyone remembers the collector's um, card meeting? Okay. Collector's card meeting. The Ho Chi Minh City Trading Card Club will meet at uh, um, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. on Sunday, February uh 25th yeah 25th 25th 2024 the meeting will take place at the saigon exhibition and convention center all primary and secondary students are welcome but primary students must be accompanied by a parent or adult guardian the most expensive cards will be displayed and we will discuss how to make sure the cards you buy are not fake cards. Nice. Um, adult guardian can be your uncle or your aunt or a friend of the family, but usually an aunt or an uncle because they don't want the primary students to go crazy in the convention center, right? Very good, Alice. Thank, uh, Sophia, thank you for reading. So we'll go to question. See if you can do this from memory. So Ariel, can you answer the question, who is this event for? The event is for the secondary school. Yeah, students. mostly secondary and primary. And they can, um, well, I'll keep it secret what they can do. <laughs> All right, Amy. Um, what kind of event is this? I skipped to question number three. What kind of event is this? Uh, it's like a collector's card meeting. Yeah, very nice. Are you interested in collecting anything, Amy? Mm, no. Yeah, I collect CDs, music CDs, but that's very old collection. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jasmine, can you tell me one reason why they are having this event? Uh, I think because they want to uh, make the student uh, to be fun. Have yeah, you... have a fun time. How about this one yeah. here, Jasmine? Do you see this one? Also, how to make sure the cards you buy are not fakes. So most of this is fun, but then they're going to be serious and show you, uh, you know, how to be careful of not buying a fake card, right? Yeah. So, Mostly fun and just one serious thing. Um, and then just a bonus question. How could I get there with my family or friends, you guys? <laughs> and so I have, it's kind of a strange question. Amy, if you wanted to go to this, how would you get there? Uh, uh, I will go by car. Okay, by car. And you can park at the uh, convention center. And then in Ho Chi Minh City, is there, um, Justin, is there a public transportation, like a train system or a bus system? Oh, I'm sorry, Justin, you're not from Ho Chi Minh City. Max is from Hanoi. We have to find, Jasmine, you're from Ho Chi Minh City. Jasmine, could you use a city bus or a train with your friends to go to this event? Yeah, I yeah. Um, Okay. Do you use the train, Jasmine? No. Uh, okay. Is it a underground train or above ground? 
See, that's what I don't know if it's a subway or not. Draffy, are you there? What happened to our Draffy? Draffy. Draffy. <laughs> no Draffy. Amy, you're from Hanoi. Um, does Hanoi have a city train system? Uh, I don't really know. Okay. All right. We'll have to ask that question. Let me see if there's something else on the next page. Okay, we'll, we'll stop that one. There. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go back to the um, other meeting. I think we've had enough time. But Summer's group is really big, you guys. So let me just take two more minutes and ask any free questions. So Minam, would you like to ask teacher Brendan a question? <clears throat> mm, yes. Ooh. What question would you like to ask Minam? Uh, what do you think uh, about today? Play? Just playing outside or playing computer games? Play sport. Oh, well, Minam, I'm not a good team sports player. Um, I like to do running competitions where I challenge other people to run. And that's just me versus the other person. And I like to swim a lot. So swimming too. Um, Minam, do you belong to the soccer team? No, nope, I play basketball and badminton. Oh, okay. Are you a good basketball player? <clears throat> not bad. Not good. Not bad. <laughs> All right, you're okay. Very good. Let's ask Amy. Amy, do you play any sports? Mm, I play badminton. Oh, okay. Are you a good badminton player? Mm -hmm. And just normal. Normal, yeah. Okay. How about Sophia? Sophia, what do you like to do for fun? Min, Min Nam said playtime, sports, badminton, basketball. Uh, I usually watch films. Oh, films. Okay. Do you like uh, Japanese anime or drama films? Um, drama films. Oh, drama. I have some drama films from Vietnam from a famous director, and he made three films. I really love them. Uh, one, of, one of them is a famous from 30 years ago. It's called The Scent of Green Papaya. It's a beautiful story. <clears throat> All right. Ariel, are you there? Yeah. Ariel, what do you like to do what uh, Min Nam calls playtime? What do you like to do for play? Mm. Actually, sometimes I play badminton with my father and sometimes just argue with my sister. Oh, cool. So you play badminton with your father. Is he a good player? Just normal. Okay. Hey, we have two. He's just a normal player. <laughs> it sounds kind of funny. Normal player. Common word. Yeah. It sounds really funny. Because he's like, ah, oh, he's normal. <laughs> so... Let's see. <clears throat> um, we have Spooky Buck. Spooky Buck, how are you? Huh? Spooky Buck, you got a good haircut. How are you? <clears throat> um, just like every day, normal. Just Fine. like. All right, Mr. Spooky Buck. What we're studying is this. I'm just going to quickly share it with you guys. We did <clears throat> tonight. We're going to do um, order of importance. And so we're going to take a story, an online story, and we're going to use five or four W questions plus how. One, two, three, four, five, and then how. So five W plus how. And this helps you with any story. So who is this story? What is the thing being discussed? Where are the places mentioned? When is the event being described? Why are you interested in this story? And how? How long is the event? So we did the collector's card meeting. Next, we're gonna uh, do this page, but first we're gonna uh, stop this here because we're gonna close the break rooms, everybody. So one moment, please, the break room rooms. All right, so closing all the breakout rooms. Okay, we have about one minute to go in those. So I think the teacher Summer was likes talking to you guys. Spooky Buck, how was your um, Tet holidays? It was, very, it was very good, except that my mom always yells at me. She yelled at you? Why did she yell at you, Mr. Spooky Buck? 
I just started watching TV or even play with my grandma's mobile. Yeah. Then the next thing she, she says that is the first thing. Your tech is TV. Uh, yeah, too much TV for you, right? So I just, I just even started it, and she already. Uh, does your grandmother have a great smartphone? It doesn't lag. Oh, okay. Do you play okay, video? Do you uh, yes, but but do you know that no, when I was at my, my hometown, then then my grandfather's phone uh, didn't even turn on. Oh, okay. turn. So I didn't do it. Did you see fireworks, Spooky Buck? Yeah, but they but did they was not like the ones that fly to the sky and a lot of them fall down. It was like just uh, exploding up and nothing else. Oh wow! Okay, so they had some problems with the fireworks. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is All normal. Right. Everybody is what? back. I'm just gonna check with teacher Summer. Teacher Summer, how was your session with the uh, young students? Uh, yes, good. Uh, I uh, asked them to go in pairs, so one ask and one answer. Best, yeah. Uh, and uh, but uh, some uh, m- most of the question, uh, uh, the student using uh, what and when, but yeah. uh, I try to encourage them to use other, but uh, yeah, we're running out of time. Yeah, how was a you know, how do you get to the convention center? That was the best one I could think of. Uh, mm, so yeah, how all right, great answer, you guys. Let's go to the next thing here, and I'm just going to do the share screen for the order of importance. And now I have this. I need um, somebody to read for me. Let's see. Who likes to read Spooky Buck? You joined. Would you like to read this for us? Called All Right, Homework Time. (laughs) Wait a second. Oh, oh, okay. All Right, Homework Time. Write a new story like trading card story we studied or what new info... What, what news or information do you want to give your readers? Remember what, when, who, where, and how should be in the structure of your if uh, of one of your one paragraph newspaper story. Please do not write who, stu- school students, where, sports stadium, what, soccer game. This paragraph must must be the style. There will be a big soccer match at the Hanoi Sports Stadium on Saturday. February 24th, 2024 at 1 p.m. The match will be Vietnam versus Hong Kong. The students will enjoy a 50% discount on tickets. Primary students must come come to the match with an adult. Tickets are $732,000. Very good, Spooky. You got that big number. Actually, that one ticket is actually very expensive. Is it thirty dollars? Okay. How much do you think going to see? Seven hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. Uh, I mean, don't. Uh, and there's the paper of just one thousand. So to get a ticket for a really good soccer game, how much would it be, Spooky Buck? I've never went to one, so I don't know. I was just guessing thirty dollars. That would be the price in Japan, about two thousand yen. Uh, no, five thousand. That's going to be a lot. Yeah, five thousand yen would be about thirty U.S. dollars. One, one, uh, one dollar is about it's uh, it's uh, um uh, it's around like twenty three thousand, I guess. I love you. Know the conversion. I mean, spooky. around. Spooky, that's so cool. I didn't learn to change money from British money to American money until I was in high school and I went to England. And Spooky, you're eleven years old and you already know what the dollar is against the dong. That's really cool. <laughs> because All they right. always. What? All right. So do you see the you guys? I wrote a paragraph. It's sort of a fantasy paragraph about a big soccer match between um, the Vietnam national team and Hanoi. So if I go here, some topics to write about you guys. Let's see. Who are there was a Na Trung. There was a student from Na Trung. I don't know who that is. Let me ask Sophia. Sophia, are you there? Yeah, here. Um, Sophia, can you read one, two, three, four? Um, okay. Why a new roller coaster at Vin Wonders Nghe Chang? New baby panda at the Hanoi Zoo. Giant shark cart 
of the sea coast at Great City, amazing fireworks festival, and Danang International Festival. Yeah. So here's what I wrote. And uh, Celion, did you come today? Are you there? Hello, Celion. Yes. How are you, Celion? I'm fine. Now you're in France. Did you celebrate the uh, Tet holiday? Uh, not really. Oh, okay. Celion, mm. yeah. can you read the quick news story style about the fishermen? Fishermen in the Gulf or of Bakbo caught a three meter bull shark last Tuesday afternoon, February 13. The bull shark was aggressive and it hit their small fishing boat several times. One of the fishermen, Ding Sam, claims this is the most aggressive bull shark he has ever experienced. Finally, the fishermen had to catch the shark to stop it from hitting their boat. Local Coast Guard officials are warning other fishermen to be careful of bull sharks in the area. Yeah, I chose bull sharks, Salian, because they're more dangerous than great white sharks for attacking uh, humans. So, okay. So, you guys, we have the big questions now. Uh, we have Timmy or is it Timai? Who is Timai? Timai, Timmy. Timai. By the way, um, hey, Timmy, are you there? I lived in a pizza box. Oh, you're the pizza box guy. So uh, tell, yes. me, tell me about your pizza box. What restaurant so is first, it from? So firstly, life in the pizza box is very pretty interesting since you live in a quiet space and yeah. you're also food. So it is very common to be reheated. But uh -huh. I don't know how I can uh, sustain the life because okay. being always cold and maybe I'll the dehydrate, which is mm -hmm. not really good you know, to keep it the whole and maybe we'll be eaten. I'm and then really sure. if you're living in that pizza box, I'm thinking you have to be a flat person, right? Yes. <laughs> Very good, Timmy. Hey, Timmy, yeah. can you answer the questions we have who what when where how can you make the questions and then i'll ask the other students so can you give me yes. a, um, any any who what when where how question for this shark story oh timmy went out his pizza box lost its wi-fi connection so, sorry can you hear me now mister all right so timmy are you there is it is the it's okay, the connection. So can you ask a who, what, when, where, how question from this story? Oh, so how will be the fishermen be alerted and be rescued if they got captured by the sharks? Well, I think they sent a radio signal first as the shark kept hitting the boat. And then the Coast Guard came and I think they caught it. They, they, they caught the fish, the aggressive bull shark. Because he was just hitting the boat. He, did, he didn't destroy the boat, Tim, um, Timmy. Oh, yes, but that's a sign of sharks trying to eat people. Yeah, I mean, bull yes, sharks it's a, it's a sign of attacks. really aggressive against humans, you know, Timmy. Yes, Timmy, and also, yeah. they can smell blood my meters away, so they're pretty aggressive when they smell their prey, but we're in their prey. Hey, Timmy, what, what's one thing that the bull shark can do that most other sharks cannot do, and it makes it really dangerous for humans. What does it, what's its special power? So its passive power is to swim faster with lesser aerodynamics, and it also has a bigger mouth. And one more thing that's unbelievable. The bull shark, um, is, where, where it can swim in the salty ocean, but where can it also swim? It can also swim in some harsh conditions. Yeah fresh water yes. in rivers. So this shark could yes. go inland into a river system in the Mekong Delta, and it can stay there for two or three days in fresh water, and it can attack people who are fishing or playing or on boats. So it's a very dangerous shark. Yeah. Yes, okay. it's pretty dangerous, mostly um, but in commonly sea animals, the breeds are commonly more dangerous because they 
have to take care of the children more. But because of that, they'll have more parts and specifications in the tech. Yes. Yes. All right. Nice work. Let me call on someone else. Tintin, are you there? Tintin. <laughs> Tintin. All right. Tintin's not there. Ruyoko, are you there from Natron? Yes. Hey, Ruyoko. I'm going to give you a how question. How long was the bull shark? Oh, your microphone isn't so good. Three meters? Yeah, three meters. That's a good shark. A three meter shark, yeah. All right. How about Nick? Hey, Nick, when did the story happen? When did it take place? When did it take place? Can you find it, Nick? No? Okay, let's check with Ariel. Are you there? Ariel, are you there? Yes. Ariel, when did this story happen? The story happened um, last Tuesday afternoon, February uh, 13th. Yeah, very good, Ariel. Very good. Okay, let's see who else we have here. And uh, hey, Simon, you're back. Simon. Yes. Where did the story take place? And I'll give yes. you a hint. Where did the story take place? I don't know. Okay. Can I help you? Uh, what do you think? I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Here, I'll go like this. Where do you? What's that place called? Uh, aqua aquarium or or ocean. Yeah, ocean. Yeah, it's called the Gulf of Bakbo. Gulf of Bakbo, which is pretty cool. All right. Hey, uh, Mr. Justin. Yes. Justin, what did the shark do? So this is a what question. What did the shark do? Shark. Uh, uh, what did he do? He was swimming, but he was, do you see here? Uh, it hit the small fishing boat. Yeah, it hit the small fishing boat. Very good. And let me give a bonus question. Justin, stay there. Hey, Justin, what is this? Yeah. Um, what is that? That was uh, the Vietnam Coast Guard. Yeah, Vietnam Coast Guard. Good. And so let's check. It's a cool uh, thing. I like that. They're in the story here. So, Minh Nam, what does the Vietnamese Coast Guard do? Uh, the Vietnamese Coast Guard is the is help a uh, safety recommission hmm. to defense of a coastline. And police activities too. They catch bad guys who are like trying yeah. to bring drugs into the country. So this is the Vietnamese Coast Guard is new. It was just started last year. Hey, Minam, would you like to join the Vietnamese Coast Guard if you were a captain of a boat? Yes. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, Max, would you like to be a Coast Guard guy? Like a captain of a ship with police officers on it? I don't think that uh, I would like to be a Coast Guard. You, you have to be a good swimmer, Max. Like you have to jump in and help people, right? Mm. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, I hear the four topics again. A new roller coaster at Vin Wonders. By the way, do you guys like Vin Wonders? There were, I think, five of these parks in Vietnam. Amy, is Vin Wonders really popular? Mm, yeah, very popular. Yeah, so that's why I chose it. It was in the images on Yahoo Images. So I thought, okay, Vin Wonders, we'll use that. Then the new panda at the Hanoi Zoo. Amy, you're in Hanoi. Is there a Hanoi Zoo? Mm, 
Yes. And no, it have, and no, I have a zoo, and, but it don't have a panda. Oh, okay. So I was just guessing. You'll have to change that. All right. Thank you. Maybe Ho Chi Minh City Zoo, huh? All right. And then the giant shark is this story that I gave you guys, which was there. Uh, amazing fireworks. Because the Tet holidays just ended, you could talk about amazing fireworks, I think is what Susu said. Okay. So we're going to go into breakout rooms, and you guys choose one of these topics, but you can always choose your own topic, you know, if you want to do something different. You don't have to do a roller coaster or the panda or the giant shark or the amazing fireworks. If you could think of something different, that would be fine too, you guys, right? So you could think of your own topic. But remember, what we're doing today is order of importance. Like put five important details, the when, who, what, where, how. So tell a quick news story or invite people to an event. And it should be just maybe five quick sentences. So when I give you homework this week, it doesn't have to be so long, you guys. You could just say there's going to be a special meeting with blah, 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 blah. Uh, or there's a new roller coaster at Vin Wonders, right? Okay, so we'll do the breakout rooms again. Let's recreate the rooms. And then um, teacher summer, I'll try to get as many of the students as I can. Um, and they... Um, they can use one of my news stories on the shark, the roller coaster, the fireworks, or they could create their own news story. So for the next 10 minutes, if you could discuss, even 15 minutes if you want, Summer, there's enough time, try to get the students interested in a news story that they can write for their homework. Okay, okay. Yeah. let's go, you guys. And open the rooms. Hello. Hello, you guys. Thanks for coming, Simon. Hey, Simon, what sort of news story are you interested in? Sharks, fireworks, what do you think? Uh, I think fireworks. Okay. And so what city is that, Simon, you would like to discuss the fireworks? Uh, the fire. Can you say again? Um, so you have the Ho Chi Minh City fireworks, the Hanoi fireworks. What city in Vietnam has the best fireworks? Fireworks that make so many many views yeah so many places but i was talking to teacher summer and we said some cities have more money to spend they're like rich cities and uh, so they uh you know they can they can have really expensive fire, fireworks let's see uh Simeon and ariel can join us okay and let's see what all right, gonna beat that one. So let's see. Um, Nick, are you there? Yeah. Nick, what topic are you interested in? It can be one uh, of the topics or your own. I'm interested in shark. The shark one, okay. Are you yeah. uh, sharks are interested? What city are you in, Nick? In Vietnam? What city? I'm in uh I'm not in the city. <laughs> In country place? Yeah, um, um Lao Town. Ah, is it close to the ocean? Very close. Oh, okay. So um, if you are interested in sharks, can you see the fishermen catch sharks? Um, actually, the fishermen caught very far from the place where, like very far from the shore. So hmm. I can't see them. Okay. Do people in Vietnam eat shark fin soup like the Chinese? They cut the top off the shark. I think yes, but it is not very popular. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because they kill a lot of sharks, you know, just to make shark yeah. fin soup in South China. Right? All right, Nick. Good, good. So if you can do a shark, you can pick, you know, Nick, the story we're going to do doesn't have to be true. It can be just a, a fantasy story that you write. Right. And so it you just have to. Yeah, imagination style. And so you can tell me about a great shark story. 
So I, I love sharks since I was nine years old. I just really love sharks. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to Alice. Alice, what story is interesting to you? Uh, story? Um, well, I, I had four topics. Let me show them to you guys. And remember, I said you can you can choose your own topic. Like here's a roller coaster story. Here's the baby panda story here. Here's the shark story. Here's the fireworks. But if you want, you can choose your own, your own story. I would like the giant shark part at the sea coast at Clay City story. Okay. All right. So for this, you know, you just have to write five sentences about the big shark that was caught. Um, you could, Ellis, you could put your own details there. Um, you know, I just used my example of the big shark. So if you want to write your own style of story, that's okay. All right. Hey, Max, what's interesting for you, Mr. Max? Um, I think it's the uh, amazing fireworks festival at Danang. It's a yeah. festival. So Da Nang's fireworks are like the best in Vietnam, do you think, Max? Uh, I think it's in Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, so in Da Nang, yeah. Ho Chi Minh City has the best. So Max, you can write a story about the Ho Chi Minh City or the Da Nang or Hanoi fireworks. Just five sentences. Remember when, where, who, how. Right. For fireworks, who might be difficult? Max, remember, this is just a make-believe story, a fantasy story. So, you know, you could say, oh, the ABC company made the best fireworks in the world because they had AI fireworks, you know, something like that. Minnam, what story interests you? Uh, the story is interesting as amazing fireworks. What is it? Amazing fireworks? Amazing fireworks. Yeah. Uh, now, do you want to do Da Nang or somewhere different? Somewhere different. Okay, yeah, you can change it. Hanoi. Hanoi, okay, you got Hanoi. You guys love Hanoi City. You're very proud of Hanoi. Good, good, Minnam, thank you. Hey, Mr. Spooky Bak in Hanoi. Hey, uh, Spooky Buck, your classmate Min Nam says Hanoi has the best fireworks. Do you think so? Yeah, because it's by the government. Okay, yeah, and the government you can get really good fireworks, right? Yeah, true. So Spooky Buck, we have the giant shark, the fireworks, the panda, the new roller coaster. What story is interesting for you? Um, I think the roller coaster. Okay, do you like roller coasters? Yeah, but I never tried one. Yeah. Have you been to one of these Vin Wonders? There's one in Hanoi, Nha Trang, Ho Chi Minh City. All right. So remember, Spooky Buck, you can change a lot of the details. You can make it like your own story. That's kind of cool, right? <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Draffy, did you ever turn on your microphone? If you can join us, Draffy, please. Draffy, did you fall asleep? Ariel, let's go to Ariel. Yes. Hey, Ariel, we have the story of the panda, the fireworks, the shark, the new roller coaster. What story would be interesting for you to write five sentences about? Um, I think it's amazing fireworks festival, a Spanish intermission festival. Okay, and you could change it if you want, Ariel. You know, if you want to change from Da Nang uh, to another city, that's okay. Okay. Hey, Ariel, in Vietnam, do you have summer fireworks during June, July, or August? Um, I haven't seen it. In um, Japan, they have nice fireworks in August um, and even July. Okay. Celian? Are you there? Yes. Celia, what's interesting for you? You could do the roller coaster, the baby panda, a giant shark, fireworks. The baby or panda. You like the baby panda, okay. Now, Celia, um, does Paris have a world famous zoo? 
Uh, I think so. So I wonder if they have a panda at the uh, zoo in Paris, you know. I could search uh, for not that. in Paris. Not uh, in Paris. Not, yeah. Some French people think maybe it's not good to keep animals in a zoo, you know. They think it's mean, so they don't like it, right? Mm. All right. Um, Cillian, did you see the fireworks during Bastille Day in France, July 14 or 15? Uh, not really, because okay. it's too crowded usually. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, they have good fireworks on Bastille night. Huh? Okay, thanks, Elian. Good to um, talk to you. How about uh, Jasmine? Are you there, Jasmine? Yes. Jasmine, what's interesting? We have the roller coaster, the baby panda, the giant shark, fireworks. I think a new roller coaster at Bin Wonder near Cheng is like really scary. Yeah, but is there? It's really fun. Yeah, you like roller coasters a lot, Jasmine? Yeah, I have a uh, go there one time. Mm. And it's a uh, like risky when I come in. I mm. get in the roller coaster. I was closing my eye because it's too like asky. Yeah, oh yeah, me too. I used to close my eyes. When I was 12 years old, Jasmine, I closed my eyes. My friend sitting next to me, John, said, you closed your eyes. <laughs> I used to love them too. Um, by the way, Jasmine, Vin Wonders in Nha Trang. Do you have a, a Vin, Von, Vin Wonders in uh, Ho Chi Minh City? Uh, no, I just say Vin Nha Trang. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're, so they're called amusement parks. All right. Uh, let's see. Ellis, did I ask you, you um, what was interesting for you? Uh, you asked me already. Okay, I'm sorry. Did I ask everybody? I want everyone to have a chance to, to uh, answer that question. Okay, you guys, let's go back to the main rooms because I want to show you how to start uh, writing something. So uh, let me just get my thing ready here because I want to help you as much as I can. Um, that's it. Uh, no, let's put that there and I'll do a new file. Okay. And let me uh, get ready to close all the rooms. Close the rooms. I hope Summer had a nice chat with you guys. <clears throat> all right. Thank you. You did a great job, Spooky Bach, of answering the questions. Sharks and things like yeah, okay. that. I'm happy you like sharks, right? You said sharks. Very cool. All right. Hello, yeah, Summer. Good. Summer, how um, are the kids? Uh, very good, yeah. Uh, we have kind of a uh, uh, detailed discussion in the, their favorite topic for each student. Okay. But we're running out of time at the, at the last. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I never yes. know when to close the room. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. OK. So what I want to do for you guys, just to help you get started, um, just for fun, can you guys help me? Um, I'll ask one of you to write a topic and then um, and I'll show you what it looks like here. So I'm going to take this blank page because I don't use the whiteboard. I just like using my uh, Microsoft thing. And uh, let me see. Spooky Buck, you are interested in sharks. Yeah. Can you, can you give me a topic to write about for Brendan? And I'll write about it here. Anything uh is okay. Uh, I can't really think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know anything. Uh, okay, okay, that's right. Hey, Celian. Can you give me a topic to write about? And I'll write one paragraph for you guys. Um... Um, Anything is okay. Um, <laughs> it can be a school thing, a sport thing. Having a new dog. What, about dogs? Yes. Okay, excellent. 
Okay, so I would write a paragraph. Let me start. My paragraph is about dogs. That's Celian's choice. Celian, it's a really good choice. Okay. Um, so you could write, I am interested <laughs> in dogs. Um, I found this story in the newspaper last week. Here's the story, you guys. There will be a dog show featuring famous Japanese Shiba Inu dog. Um, all dog lovers are invited. Um, the show will be at the Hanoi Convention Center in downtown Hanoi. Tickets are uh, 300,000 dong. Um, the show starts at 2 o'clock p.m. on Saturday, oh, oh, 2 o'clock on Saturday, uh, February 24th. Um, you can get to the convention center by a special bus where it is okay to bring <laughs> your dog on the bus. <laughs> we hope to see you there. Um, maybe here. Uh, there will be three prizes. First, second, and third prizes uh, awarded to the best Shiba Inu. We hope to see you there. Okay, so there's my story, you guys. So let's just check um, with Ellis in the story that I just wrote. I'm going to start with a what question. Okay. Um, what kind of dog will be the star of the show? What kind of dog will be the star of the dog show? The Shiba Inu. Inu, yeah. Do you guys know what the Shiba Inu is? Maybe I have to show you guys what a Shiba Inu is. Okay, so wait one moment, please. Oh, sweet. Do you guys know it? The Shiba Inu? Um, yes, Shiba Inu is a oh, type very cool. of you dog know it. in Yeah, because yeah, it became really famous all around the world, right? So I'm going to get you guys a Shiba Inu. They're, um, they're interesting little dogs. Shiba Inu. Okay, one moment. <laughs> you guys are going to love this picture. If you like dogs, Max, do you like dogs? Oh, yes. Okay, there he is, you guys, the Shiba Inu, right? Yeah. I think he looks like a little fox, actually. So here he is, Shiba Inu. Yeah, these dogs have become so popular around the world. They're actually pretty strong, right? This guy here, this is a strong dog. So you could use that as a guard dog, right? So you have to be careful with some of these dogs. He looks so much like a fox, you guys. I think he's like such a fox, a little fox boy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> sometimes people mix the Shiba Inu with the Alaska dog called the Husky. And so that's actually a really intelligent little dog. Okay. So there's the Shiba Inu. And I'm going to go back to my story here um, and ask just some more questions. Uh, let's see. Mr. Spooky Buck. Where is the dog show going to be? Um, Hanoi Convention Center in the downtown Hanoi. Nice, really good, nice. 
And let's ask uh, Mr. Max, how much are tickets? Uh, it's uh, 30,000, uh, 3,000 no. Yeah, $30,000. Uh, Mick, do you think that's expensive? 30, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 300000 dog. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Sorry, Max. Okay. Max, do you think that's expensive? Uh, it's, uh, not very expensive. Okay. Good, good answer, Max. Not very expensive. Okay. And let's see. Um, Susu, what time is the dog show going to be? Um, it is, um, um, the show starts at uh, 2 p.m. on Saturday, February in the 24th. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good one. All right. Sophia, can I ask you, how can you get to this? Uh, here's another how question. How can you get to this dog show? Um, we have to buy tickets. Yeah. But to, to get there, can you put your dog on the train um, or your car? You can get to the convention. Convention center by a special bus where it, it is okay to bring your dog on the bus. Yeah. Sophie, I wrote that just it's a little bit of a joke because can you imagine a bus with like 30 Shiba Inus all on the same bus? They would be fighting each other and barking. That would be a crazy bus, you guys. So, do you see um, this paragraph for your homework? and be a fantasy or make believe because you guys like that um, story. <laughs> so for my detail, I, I, I imagine a special Shiba Inu bus is a crazy detail, but it makes me laugh to think about that, right? Okay. Hey, Ruyoko, are you there? Yeah. And Ruyoko, can I ask you the final question? And it's another how question because the how questions are sometimes the most difficult. How? Um, let me see. All right, there you go, Ryoko. What are the three prizes you can win? Oh, you're having problems with the microphone, Yoko. All right. Sorry about that, Yoko. Let's go to Ariel. Ariel, are you there? Yes. Ariel, what prizes can you win? What are the three prizes? The prizes mm. is a, a, the prices is awards to the best Shimba Inu. Yeah, and you can get first place, second place, and third place, right? Yes. So, you guys, I want to show you something um, here in just a second. I'll call it up. Um, I'm going to use the images again that we used for the Shibu Inu. Um, do you know the first, second, first, second, and third? place ribbons. Um, I don't know, do they do this in Vietnam? But um, let me show you guys this. So for the dog show, I said you get the prize. So what color is first place? Do you guys see that? Alex, good to see you. How are you, Alex? Ah, I know this. You know this? <laughs> Sorry, who said that? <laughs> who said I me. know this? Me, who? Who's me? Me, yeah. So you've seen these prizes before? Yes. Yeah. So what's the top prize, the best prize? Uh, I know this is on the completion. What color is it? It's blue. Yeah. It's and red. Then, yeah. It's green. Green, yeah. That's very good. 
So I don't know who started this, the British, the Canadians, or Americans, somebody started this, right? This prize is, because the original were like, these are the Olympic gold, silver, and bronze, right? But for this, they created, uh, so do you see how the colors are gold, silver, bronze? But for animal shows for dogs, you get a blue, a red, or a green. But sometimes they change it to white, sometimes to yellow, sometimes to green. So third place always changes. This is nice too. First place, second place, third place. So for the dog show, the best dog here, second best dog here, and third place here. So that's for my dog show. So you see, that's just another detail we can put in the story. Okay, so let's see. How about you guys give me something to write about? We'll do another writing practice for you to help you uh, finish your homework, okay? So let me go here. And the dog choice was Céliane. And so we'll do a new choice here. Uh, let's see, a new topic. Okay, and again, remember we're asking that what, where, who, when for your um, importance. So Spooky Bot, can you give me something to write about? Um. Um. Anything is okay. Computer games, TED festival. Yeah, but there are a lot. So oh. I All right. Can we ask Justin? Justin, can you give me something to write about? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Same one. Can you give this me something to write about? This is like impossible. Impossible because there's so many things to write about. Simon, give me something to write about if you can. Like what? Uh, animals, fireworks, roller coasters, food. Uh, the, an the animals are okay. very big and small. Okay, big and small animals. All right. Here we go. Uh, on Tuesday. March. Uh, the Hanoi Zoo will um, present the world's biggest gorilla named Zozo <laughs> and his best friend, Willy the Mouse. <laughs> who is famous in China. <laughs> um, 1,000 special guests are invited to the show to present the two great and small animals. Okay, Simon, this is your choice, so I'm gonna put you in the story. Um, Special guest, um, let me see, special guest, let's see, who gave me this ice? Uh, it's Simon, special guest Simon, the primary student, <laughs> will um, be the host Yes. of the show. So Simon, you're gonna be in my show, right? Um, who said there are so many spooky buck? His good friend, Spooky Buck.
uh, school of Zugate, Zugate. There we go. So, Mr. Simon, are you there? Simon? Hello, Simon. Yes, I'm here. Simon, can you read this? Yes. On Tuesday, March 5th, the Hanoi Zoo will present the world, world's biggest, biggest gorilla named Zozo and his best friend, Willy. The mouse, who is famous in China, one million, one million special guests are invited to the show to present to the two great and small animals. Special guest Simon, the primary school, will be host of the show. His good friend Spooky Beck will, be, will answer any question about Gorilla. And the mouse for the one million special guests at exactly eleven o'clock a.m. to start the show. See you. By the way, the mouse can talk, but not the gorilla. <laughs> one thousand. One thousand. Yeah, that's one thousand, Simon. Okay. So do you see, you guys? This one doesn't have to be so serious. You can make it like a fantasy thing, like that, right? That's why I said, if you want, you can write your own story. What do you think, Minnam? Can you write your own story? Yes. All right. What do you want to write about, Minnam? I want to write about uh, my... The first time I'm going to the... The first time I'm going to school. Okay. My first day of school. Okay. Um... And was that last year or two years ago? I'm sorry, Am. So remember, if you do that, Minnam, you have to write who, what, when, where, how, why. <laughs> okay. No, I don't know. You have to think about that. Uh, that. If you can answer those six questions, that would be a good paragraph, okay? Let's see, who else can we talk to? Alice? Yes? What would you like to do? You know, I, I wrote about a gorilla and a mouse. Did you, you have a choice of fireworks, roller coasters, animals. Do you want to make your own topic? Hmm. Yes. Okay. What would be interesting for you, Alice? The first time I went to Nyachang. Okay, the first time I went to, um, how do you spell it? N N A. Oh, sorry, N A. Not wrong. The H uh, between the and and the so I will write in the chat box. Okay. <laughs> Let's check my chat box. Uh, it's right. <laughs> it is. Okay, it's right. Thanks, you guys. Okay, so we're just about to finish, you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alice is speaking Vietnamese to someone. Alex, how are you? I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get a chance to talk to you today. Do you understand the homework assignment? Um, um, yes. Okay. I'll sure. put the homework assignment in the uh, uh, Yalo uh, chat for our group. I'll write the homework for you. Try to do events, event in the yes. past, event in the future. Yes. All right. Hey, Ashley, how yeah. are you? Let me check with Ashley. How are you, Ashley? 
Teacher. Uh, feeling kind of down. Oh, no. Feeling kind of down. I hope you feel better, Ashley. Uh, hey, I thought you, you are pro 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 probably mad at me for miss missing like an hour of your lesson. But you yeah. had things to do, right? So, yeah. But I'll put, <laughs> you can always do the homework, and the homework really helps you. I know. What is Stephen doing? Is but, he fighting with his brother? But again? these days, but yeah. these, these days, I, I, I feel really guilty. Even after next years, or probably thirteen years later, I'll, I'll still still rem remember the fact that I. I, I just miss your <laughs> only lesson that was supposed to be important after all those vacation. Oh, By the okay. way, I just feel feel kind of down, but oh. you know, but currently I I feel like I'm probably the stupidest kid oh, in this no, class. No. Don't worry about it, Ashley. Ashley, ask Ms. Duke Am if I you guilt can... You're fine. Don't worry about it, Ashley. Hey, Ashley, ask Ms. Duke if you can watch the video. You know, she puts this on uh, video. And so just send her a message and say, can, can I watch the video of tonight's class? That's all. Then you won't miss anything. Yeah. Okay. And what's important is if, Ashley, you do the homework, then it will be good. All will be good. It will be good. Okay. You guys, let's say goodbye to everybody. Can we say goodbye to Mr. Spooky Bach? Thank you for helping, goodbye, Spooky Bach. Goodbye, goodbye, so bye 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 bye